the disappointment is also part of the stress we're talking about. Because I'll give you another example. A woman has been told... Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me make my own point. Ask the question alone. <laughs> let, me, okay, let me just bring this up. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yes, just, I, will, I, will, I want to wrap it up with what I'm saying. Let me just, one minute, let me just bring, bring this home. Okay. A woman is married, but she has been told that the husband is to... A, well, a man that does not provide for his family is what well, I mean, Fidel. But the Bible did not tell us what is he supposed to provide. Is Preach, it money? Preacher? Or, mm. or, or, or the environment that is conducive for you. Mm. So it can be a situation where the husband earns 50,000 naira, the wife earns a million naira. And then the, husband, the wife says to the husband, You are an infidel. You are worse an infidel because you're not providing money. Whether she's earning a million bucks. So guess what? Until the husband brings money, she never feels happy because what she has been told, the condition she has told herself, she has put herself under that unnecessary stress because of that scripture that they have not fully actually a misunderstood understood scripture. So even if God, if this same man prays to God, and let's say God answers his prayer and say, promote my wife, what I'm doing is really, really minor, but my wife's job is kind of a promoter, and they promote that woman to two million per month.